when Piccolo the Elephant painted this t-shirt at Canada's African Lion Safari about 10 years ago, I didn't realize until now that he was painting the Olympic rings. So I really must give a shout out to my former student, Jesse Fleming, star of the Canadian national soccer team, for winning the gold medal in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. I taught her calculus and vectors in about 2016. She went on to study engineering at UCLA in California, where she played soccer and was a big star. In these Olympics, she scored against Brazil. She knocked out the US by scoring against them. And she scored against Sweden, not once, but twice in the gold medal game. So congratulations to Jessica Fleming, an excellent math student. Now we've been looking at projectile motion where the projectile is launched and lands at the same height. These are the formulas for the total time in the air, the horizontal range, and the maximum height. It doesn't depend on the mass of the projectile. It doesn't depend on whether it's a golf ball, a baseball, a soccer ball, or even a bowling ball. Because you know some bowlers, they, they kind of launch the bowling ball and it goes clunk on the, on the lane. They don't actually just set it down and roll it. Well, yes, it does not matter on the, on, at the, whatever the mass is. In other words, mass is matter, but in this case, mass doesn't matter. Now, to achieve the same results for different types of projectiles, it does take more energy to launch a bowling ball the same distance as you kick a soccer ball, of course. But that just means it requires more force and more energy. It doesn't mean that these formulas are not valid. If you can achieve the same initial launch velocity at the same angle, then these formulas will apply. And of course, the absence of air resistance. So once again, I want to give a Olympic shout out to Jesse Fleming, my all time favorite math and soccer player. Way to go, Jesse.